Hello there. I am indeed so glad to welcome you all to the well organized world of English grammar. What have you been doing since we last talked? Were you all enjoying your holidays? I know that the pandemic made you to be indoors. But you may have enjoyed your holidays in whatsoever way it is possible for you. Dear students, we are back into the action. Yes, the pandemic is outside there, but we have to move on. So, this year also we are having online classes. Yes, dear students, today we are going to learn about the sentence and negative sentences. What do you know about sentence? What is a sentence? For example, I say a few words. So, a group of words. Is that a sentence? Your name is uh, she knows Joy. For example, I say, right? Name your is she knows. That is also a group of words, right? So, what is a sentence? That is what we are going to learn first and foremost. So, after watching this video, you have to also think, or right now, when you are watching the video, try to think, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words, right dear students? Group of words which makes complete sense. And what is a negative sentence? Yes, we hear about not. He is not a boy. He is not a bad boy. She is not a bad girl. Not. Or he is not studying properly. Not. The word not grammatically means or constitutes negative statements. So, dear students, now we are going to focus on the sentence and negative sentences. Dear children, now let us come to the central idea of the chapter. The chapter, the sentence and negative sentences. The sentence, I already told you, group of words which makes complete sense is called a sentence. Right dear students? Yes. Now, let us see the kinds of sentences. What do you know about the kinds of sentences, dear students? Impressive. Let us see. The first one is declarative sentence. It can also be called as assertive sentence. Okay? So, let us learn one term that is declarative sentence or statement. What are declarative statements? This is a chalk piece. What is that? It is a statement, it is a declaration that it is the fact that it is a chalk piece. I am a teacher. There is a cat. He is dancing. You are a student, I am a teacher. Declarative sentences, saying something. Okay? Now, let us come to the next part that is interrogative statements. What are interrogative statements? Where are you from? Where do you live? Are you a boy? Is he dancing? What did I say? Did I ask questions? Yes. Whenever I ask a question, that is called interrogative statement. So, what is an interrogative statement? Questions are called interrogative statements. 
Good. Now let's come to the third one. Imperative statement. Be quiet. Get out. Shut up. Have mercy on me. Please help me. What is that? They are two different types of conversations. Be quiet. Be silent. Commands or orders, right? Commands or orders are called imperative statements. Together with, have mercy on me. Please help me. What is that? Requests. Requests are also known as imperative statements. Therefore, commands, requests are known as imperative statements. Commands and requests. Now, let's see the fourth type of a statement. That is exclamatory statement. What is an exclamatory statement or exclamatory sentence? What a beautiful flower. How cold is tonight? What a terrible accident. Exclamation. Sudden expressions of feelings. Therefore, an exclamatory sentence is a sentence that express some sudden feelings or sudden feelings. Now we are going to come to the next point that is negative sentence.